Which state is the easiest to be invited? The 2024-2025 edition, okay? So look, I am often asked by a lot of applicants, which state is the easiest to get invited from? So you need to be invited if you're applying for the state nominated 190 or the skilled regional 491, okay? And look, honestly, it varies a lot from year to year. The states get a different quota of invitations from federal immigration. The states change their preference about who they want to invite. Um, and it can depend on a lot of factors like your occupation specifically, how long you've been working in your occupation, how long you have left on your visa. But look, this video, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion about which state I think will be the easiest to get an invitation. And as always, this information is general in nature. If you wanna look at your specific circumstances, chat with the migration agent. Right off the bat, the 24, 25, I think the easiest stake potentially is gonna be Western Australia. And the reason for that is the Western Australian Premier is screaming out at federal immigration. We want more spots, give us more spots. The quota you gave us last year wasn't enough. We demand more spots. So in response, federal immigration has announced that they're gonna have at least, you know, additional 10,000 spots for skilled migration for 24, 25. I don't know exactly what visas these will go into, but it's gonna be a huge increase. So WA should be inviting a lot more occupations. Um, additionally, I think the smaller states, South Australia, Tasmania, Northern Territory, ACT are gonna fare reasonably well. Um, because immigration is expected to give them a lot more quota to invite applicants. I think potentially some of the states on the eastern seaboard, so Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, are you know are probably going to be the harder states to get an invite. Look, generally speaking, they are because they're the only states that people want to go to. I mean, when you when you talk about Queensland or South Australia, obviously you're going to go Queensland, but. Because so many people want to go to these states, it sometimes can be a little bit harder to get that invitation. And when you couple that with the bigger quota given to the other states, these states may be a little bit harder to get the invite. Now look, obviously, if you're in a super in-demand occupation like carpenter or the other housing trades, maybe a teacher or a nurse, it might not matter as much what state you're in. Just because obviously housing trades the government's trying to build, they're going to be handing out a lot of invitations to them. But if not, I think it, you know, it could be worth you know, considering how long you have left on your visa, should you move, where you should look to put on your EOI, you know, and things like that. As note, this information is general in nature. Um, it is just my opinion. However, if you would like to discuss your situation with a migration agent, feel free to contact Pathway to Oz.